You are looking live and from Vaquero Stadium in San Antonio, Texas for this week 12 of the SFL in Vaquero's Ranch Field. I'm Colin Northrup along with Rick Northrup. Good afternoon! And we're here to bring every bit of the action to you from City of the Alamo. These two teams played in week three. Houston won 27 to 10. The Vaqueros looking to scramble things up in the West. with a win today to close up their inaugural campaign. We have the coin toss sport coming. We'll be back after it. And the hyenas have won the toss. And they elect to put their defense on the field. So. Griffin ready to kick it off for Houston. Greg Corky back deep for the Vaqueros. And we are underway. It's fielded by Corky. Running up the middle of the field across to the 30. It'll be Nark. Knocked down at the 32. So we'll get a first look at this offense led by quarterback number seven, Joey Langdon. His, his running backs are number 45, fullback Marcus Jones Jr. Tailback number 22, Jason, Ger Jason German. Wide receivers, Daly Holder number 87, Greg Corky number 88, and number 82, Cole Train is the tight end. Langdon. Will drop the throw and his first pass goes to Train. Although he has to go back for the ball. They'll give him forward progress only to the line of scrimmage. Blake Chance on the tackle for Houston. That was a whole lot of nothing to get the game started. But uh, Colin, there's a lot of <clears throat> playoff implications for this game as well too, which uh, you'll get into as we go through the game. But I'm excited to uh, be here in San Antonio. Second and 10, Train flexed out as the third wide receiver. Langdon under center, turns, gives to German, his first carry to get game, and there goes Jason German, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, touchdown, San Antonio! <laughs> well, a nothing burger to get started, and then look at that, boom! What a run by German! Holy smokes. He's coming off a 200... Plus yard performances. Look at the move in the hole from German. He rushed for 219 last game against Vancouver. And just like that, here we go. Uh, by the way, game time, 94 degrees here in San Antonio. Feels like 100. And if you're down there on the artificial surface, it is way hotter. I have to get the IVs and fluids going by the end, by the uh, <laughs> End of this game. If there was any grass down there, it might have died already. And the extra point by Johnny Deadeye is up and through. So we're only 10-13 to go in the first, and the Vaqueros are out in front 7 to nothing. Love it. Pure SFL football right off the bat. And Deadeye's kick will be taken by Corey Sims, number 11. And Sims from the 10 yard line coming forth. Oh! Gets across to the 26 <laughs> as he's blown up by a man on special teams. <laughs> blown up, maybe. He was pushed down. <laughs> I want to be able to tackle like that. And Cody Cantrell along with. William Choice, number 25, the tailback. His receivers are Sims, number 11, DR Sim, number 80, and Jamari Mito, number 84, is the tight end. As Cantrell comes out under center, seven step drop, has a good pocket, can make himself a sandwich, but he gets sacked by the Vaqueros for a loss of six yards. He has all the time in the world, and then 
Oops, I got sacked. <clears throat> he needed it. <laughs> he should have stepped up in the pocket. Going to leave it at that. That's Evan George, number 93, coming in. Second and 16 is the hyenas operate from the shotgun. Cantrell will take this one. He lets go of this one, and it'll be knocked away. Pass intended for DR Sim. Try to drop it in the bucket there. Right. In between the layers of the secondary. Quite, can't quite get it done. Olsen in on the deflection for the Vaqueros. It's third and 16 from their own 20. The Vaqueros come out in a nickel defense. As Cantrell fires this one over the middle and it is dropped by Jamari Mito. That was there. That was there. Well, not the start that uh, the Hainas uh, en envisioned, especially with the Vaqueros striking so quickly. Adams back to punt. Greg Corky, who was with the Hyenas and their co-owner defensive coordinator last year, got his own team. Went over there as a player owner coach. He's back on the other side of his 40 and he moves up to about the 43 as well. They'll spot him for the Vaquero's second possession. Even better starting position than uh, that first two play drive that they had. Of course, everybody knows starting position is a huge determinant on probability of scoring. I formation, German, the deep back. Two receivers to the top of your picture. Hyena's showing blitz. They back out of it. As Joey Langdon goes down the field, he's got, oh, come on. He's got Daly Holder for a one-play <laughs> touchdown. Oh, my, it's 13 to nothing. Well, that's how you do it. <laughs> wow. Holy smoke, Colin. On just the post pattern, as the bull snorts with excitement as we get an, another look at Langdon. Just beat Aaron Arrington on the post pattern there, number 24, cornerback for the Hyenas. Langdon threw the ball so many times against Vancouver the first time those two teams played. It was picked off nearly 10 times, but so far he's perfect. And the extra point by Johnny Deadeye is up and through. So call your friends, call your neighbors. Get them all together. The Vaqueros are up in front 14 to nothing with 9-13 in the first. Well, uh, this game has suddenly become no laughing matter for the Hyenas as uh, they need to recover from the uh, shock of three plays, 14 points for the Vaqueros. Right now the hyenas are feeling like that hyena named Ed from the Lion King. As <laughs> Sim will take this there we go. across to the 30. So they get good field position. The hyena offense. A three and out last time. All three passes. Let's see if they try to run the ball. A little John going on there. As Cantrell directs the troops. There's William Choice in the backfield, taking over for Dan Hawkins this season, who of course is in Chicago. As Cantrell will swing it out to Choice. And William Choice gets out after a gain of three. A little extracurricular there. On the sideline, and look at that. Oh, Choice is down. They could have Throwing a flag on that, I think, on the D. Hornish looked like he made the tackles. We get another look at it here. Innocent looking enough. Just might have twisted something. Well, well contact was initiated. Before that white line. True that. 
Lainis go trips to the top of the picture. They got the backup running back in now. As the give goes to the backup, that is Pittman. It's Hornish makes the tackle. Third down and six for the hyenas. And they empty everybody up to the pattern. They got five one. Cantrell will get sacked again by that Bacaro front. So things, just when you thought they couldn't get any worse, ah. it's Darwin Biggins, the big defensive tackle, comes through and throws down Cantrell like a rag doll. Very frustrating early for the Hyenas. Fourth and 14. Adams to punt it away again to Corky. And Corky up the middle of the field to the Vaquero 43. So they started in about the same place they did last time. My recommendation to the Hyenas is to immediately go to a prevent defense and put everybody down on the goal line. Garson Dellart trying to Rally the troops as we get a look at Joey Langdon. Who had that spectacular throw. It's a holder on the post batter. He takes a six step drop, goes on the post. It is caught by Holder, and there he goes. Touchdown, the Kettles. I, I must apologize to the hyena defense. I, I may have jinxed them on that. I'm so sorry. Holder just basically outlet Aaron Arrington for the ball and outran the safety. Surprised everybody and the safety's uh, late getting over for help. Just can't make up the gap. Two throws, two touchdowns. What is going on here? I think this home crowd. But <laughs> Looks like they didn't have the bull reloaded there. <laughs> Couldn't sniff. Couldn't snort again. This crowd, this capacity crowd here at this brand new facility. Going is nuts. His dead eye kicks his third extra point already with 7.52 to go in the, to go in the first quarter. I don't see Damon Simeon, a hyena owner in the chat. Otherwise, otherwise he might be uh, go stark raving bananas. He might, he might be hiding under the uh, under the covers at this point. And here's the kick to Sims. He's got to feel like he's in Groundhog Day. Cause this is the third time he's done this. And this time Corey Sims gets to the Houston 27. So they're down a man. William Choice is out. Not out after just one touch of the football and it wasn't even a run and the backup is Mark Pitt he's deep in this three back set sim to the bottom of your picture here's to get to Pittman charges through a hole gets a solid pickup of four yards on first down Oh, uh, are as, you kidding me? Look as Mr. That, Choice is out, the broken kneecap it'll, means he'll be done for the rest of the day because we have world-class medical staff here. We'll be seeing him next season, long story short. He'll be back next game. In 11 weeks. <laughs> Here's the get to Pittman. Again, out of the same formation. This time he lost a yard. John De La Rosa, another former hyena, comes up from his cornerback position. Nice run support. Third and seven from the 30. Cantrell going deep. Pass knocked away by Mortz. Number 30 for the Vaqueros. 
Justin Morris as we get another look at it here. He just plays this ball perfectly pass intended for Jamari Mito. And Adams again out for another punt. So can this beleaguered defensive unit do something to stop the Regalos? Well, on the plus side, the D, uh, Hyena D has not really been on the field that long. It should still be fresh. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, Scotty. <laughs> too soon, Dad. Too soon. Adams' his kick. He gets good hang time on this one. And Corky gets his clock cleaned at the Vaquero 31. So at 6.40, the Vaqueros take over again. Let's see, Joey Langdon's thrown two long touchdowns, both the daily holder, and Jason German's had a big run. Let's see if the Hyenas rush three and drop eight. He drops some guys into coverage that confuses Langdon. He dumps it off to German, and Jason German will pick up five yards on the first one. Look at this. Daly Holder, two catches, 113 yards, and two touchdowns. That's Randy Moss numbers right there. So we set it up from the 36. Says, Here's a look at Holder number 87. as Langdon. <laughs> we'll give it off to German. German <laughs> spins around going backwards. It's like goes, goes full wash cycle in his own backfield and gets tackled for a loss. Well, the Vaqueros crowd is stunned as they've run three plays and haven't scored yet. Third down and nine. Carson Delahart and on the tackle, number 55 at linebacker. Split backs for the Vaqueros. Offsides, free play. Langdon taking a shot down the field. He'll get a first down to Corky. His first catch of the day, believe it or not. Well, he'll most likely take the yardage and decline yeah, the penalty. Decline that. Certainly will. As it was on the big defensive tackle, number 65, Kit Moore. We've seen the hyenas crowd the line of scrimmage a lot with those heavy, with that sort of bare front. Gosh, you know, um, that ball was led um, a little further and maybe thrown a little right. more downfield. It could have been another track meet to the goal line. As it is, Langdon's already thrown for 140 yards with two touchdowns. 15 yards, rather. There's Jason German. Takes this carry up the middle and gains six yards. There we go. Let's see the hyenas defense stiffen up here. Still a lot of game to play. And they can get a stop. Second and four. Train split out as a tight end. Again, hyena showing. About six men up front, couple bail out. He's Langdon dropping the throw oh, and nice. he drops this one for the hyena defender and it's picked off and it turned back to the 29. So the Houston hyenas and an under siege so far in this corner and they managed to get a turnover as Joaquin Rose steps in front of a glass intended for Greg Corky. Yep, just slightly underthrown and uh, opportunistically hauls it in great. Great play for the Hyenas. Can their offense do something with it? Remember, they're down their running back, William Choice. He'll be back next week because we have doctors who can work super miracles. 11 weeks is like one week. Uh-huh. As Cantrell sees the slot man uncovered. Changes the play, throws the up pattern, and that's a pickup of five yards to Jamari Mito, number 84. Boom, real football for the Hyenas. Nice job. Second and five from the 35. 4.35 to go in counting as Carroll shift their defensive line. 
Cantrell back to throw, looking, looking, going over the middle. The pass is intercepted. It's Jordan, the linebacker, number 55, picked that off. What was Cantrell looking at? It's Larry Jordan. Oh, he's looking for Sim, but he threw it right to the guy. I don't think he saw the LB there at all. That's too bad. There's a look at German's early numbers. Three carries for 70 yards and a touch. He's flanked with Marcus Jones Jr. in the backfield. As Langdon, three step drop, has to swing this out to Jones Jr. Makes a nice catch and picks up five yards on first down. So the fullback had to go out and catch that one a little bit athletically. And he picks up five yards. There's a look at number 27, Blake Chance, one of the safeties. Hyena defense. As Langdon is looking at a heavy blitz, but we'll give it off to German. German breaks a couple of tackles and picks up the first down to the Houston 22. What running by this rookie running back. Pretty manly right there. Should have been caught behind the line of scrimmage by 50. And just can't impede his progress enough to get any help. Tyleek Jones, along with the defensive lineman, finally able to clean him up. As Langdon comes out, one receiver to either side corner playing off. Blitz shown from the right side over Coltrane. Langdon turns Gibbs. And makes the play. And the blitzing guy makes the play. He's got to be careful. He's got his helmet in the neutral zone. Um, when he's lining up like that. That is Damien Hutchinson, number 50. Again, they go. They go split back look. Hyenas show blitz again. Here's the gift to the fullback Jones. and or the, That's German, rather, and he moves forward for one yard. It's now up to 84. Darian Bowles in on the tackle. Third and six from the 19. Interested to see what the Vaqueros call here. As Langdon will swing this to the end zone to Daly Holder for the touchdown. My, my. He beats the corner again. And 27 and nothing with that score. Quick just ma and the man uh, coverage just might have lost him. Wow. Not sure if he thought he was gonna get some help over the top or was there even a ball fake on that? And so with 2.16 to go, seen the Vaquero put it in the end zone. Four times, and the snap was low, but the extra point is still good. And with 2.16 to go, it's 28 to nothing. Man. Goodness gracious. Back to that playoff scenario. Thing about the hyenas were to win and Mexico City were to lose, they get the number one seed in the West. Mexico City were to win, they would be slotted with the two seeds. Sims gets knocked down to the 29th. Now, for the third, third seed, they'd have to have a loss, plus a Mexico City win. Or a loss, a Mexico City win, and a Vancouver win. Or a loss plus a Vancouver loss and a Mexico City win for a third seed. As Cody Cantrell 
will give it off to Pittman and stops in the hole and gets stopped at the line of scrimmage by Hornish. That's Jordan, actually, who had the pick earlier. Yeah. Yep, Mark Chisholm, it is the first quarter. Here's a look at Cantrell's numbers. Just throwing for eight yards and a pick. Second 10 from the 29-yard line. And off to Pittman, and he only picks up one yard. Well, the hyenas aren't going to get uh, antsy and start throwing it all over the yard. They are sticking with their running game here, trying to get something established. Third nine is this the Kendall crowd takes the Pachana defense. Trips to the bottom. Cantrell over the middle, and he's wow. short of the first down. Shoulder down. And Adams again on the punt. So we are now under a minute here in the first quarter. And here's the punt to Corky, and he gets knocked down at the 29. So, so far, Joey Langdon can do no wrong. He's thrown for a couple of touchdowns. He's gotten everybody involved except Cole Train. He's yet to have a catch. Now he had the first catch, right? Oh, he had the first catch. That's right. Back to the line of scrimmage. As Langdon well, over the middle. Ooh. Oh, looking for Holder, but it's knocked away by Rose. Yeah, that little nothing burger first play apparently allowed the hyena de defense to sleep. Second and ten, clock stop with 33 seconds left. San Antonio Vaqueros, two and nine on the season. All right, in front, 28 to nothing here in the first quarter. Train flexed out as the third wide receiver, so to speak. Here's a good Jason German up the middle, and German picks up five yards on second down. He is up to 89 yards with that, his latest effort. Third and five from 33. Marcus Jones Jr. lining up as a tight end. Langdon will throw to David Holder on the out pattern and he gets it to the 40 for a first down. It's being mercifully reached the end of this quarter. Wow. Well, the crowd's on its feet here in San Antonio. Loving, absolutely loving the first quarter here. So we'll switch ends. And start going from your internet right to your internet left. Changes the play. Throws it to Greg Corky for six yards on first down. I tell you, I was here for the Dallas Roughneck game when the Vaqueros played him here. I can tell you there's a vast difference between the last time I saw this club and today. Of course, they've been in some high thriller games. Of course, the second game versus Mexico City was crazy. As Langdon will have that pass knocked away by Aaron Tink. Nice job. Nice job. Of course, there was that Hail Mary by Matt Wilson to Richard Montague. The end of that game. We are just underway here in the second quarter. The Piqueros in front by four touchdowns. Looking at a third and four from their own 46. Langdon empties the backfield out. 
Langdon over the middle. Oh. Big Kit Moore, number 65, almost had that in his hands as the big guy was in zone coverage. <laughs> Must have surprised Langdon almost as much as the ball did Moore. <laughs> right. And the punt. The first punt of the day for the Vaqueros. And the punter is Lawyer Tillman. He kicks this to Corey Sims, who fair catches this one at his 17. So the hyenas get a stop. Nice. Let's see if they can put some O together. First and ten from the seventeen. They're a good club. They've got they've got weapons. Just haven't heard from a lot of them. Of course, William Choice is gone. He won the first place from scrimmage. Cody Cantrell go. goes deep to the thirty-seven as DR Sim makes a house call. The doctor is in. <laughs> and a smattering of polite golf clap here at the Vaquero Stadium. Uh for the few hyena fans that were able to get in. There's a look at Sim. Crossed the 5,000 yard mark for his career earlier this season. First user player to do so. And SFL is here. Mr. Pittman picks up two yards. Tell you what, he's filled in admirably at times. As he's tackled by Mr. Bond, number 26. James Bond. Let's go. It's a pick up a two, it'll be second and eight. Again, they go split backs with their fullback. Comes to Pittman and Cantrell takes a three step drop, lobs a duck over the middle, and it's going to be picked oh. off by Justin Morris. Pass intended for Jamari Mito. What was he looking at? Severely underthrown football. I don't know. It just left his hand funny. I thought somebody got a hand on it. Might have. And I'm, with that uh, short drop, there wasn't a lot of room in that pocket, and maybe uh, he just wasn't able to set his feet the way he wanted to, and that ball wobbles its way to the Vaqueros. So the hyenas. Defense comes out on the field after getting a three and out their last drive. Jason German gets to carry, almost was tackled by Kent Moore. As German gets six yards. I got it. Uh, we do have word on William Choice's situation for those of you who may have missed it earlier. Second and six from the 40. Nine to go till halftime. Under nine to go now. As Jason German takes this swing pass, momentarily forgets where he was and steps out of bounds. Actually lost the yard. So the Vaqueros beat the Red Hot Vancouver Legion last week. Seem to be carrying over momentum from that victory over into the beginning of this game. We're looking at a third and seven. Joey Langdon turns, gives to Jason German, and Kit Moore stops him after pickup of one. And the Hyenas get their second punt. There we go. <clears throat> Are the Vaqueros trying to work, suddenly trying to work on the clock here in the second quarter? <laughs> They've been throwing it all over the yard. Trying to go back to the well with that uh, German 64-yarder. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. As punter, Tillman, standing back around his own 30, kicks it away. Soups will take this to the Houston 22-yard line. Yeah, we're going to get an update for you there on the uh, William Choice injury. 
as the Hyenas are down their star running back. As Cody Cantrell's under center. Takes this four step drop over the middle. Oh, Pass was me. nearly picked off by the linebacker. It's Horn Hornish. Would have been Cantrell's third pick. And Shane Ornish, the linebacker. Pittman is the deep back. Sim is to the bottom of the formation. It's Cantrell swing this out to Pittman. And he doesn't get hurt on that swing pass and back picks up six yards, sets it up a third down and manageable. A nice play design there as they kind of flush out that left side of the flat. And he's got some room to maneuver. Had some guys in front help blocking him, although only one guy really did it. And he started blocking, the rest must have stood around. <laughs> third and four from their own 28, the Hyenas. Down 28 to nothing. Looking for some answers and perhaps giving their defense a rest. Here's to get the Pittman on third down. Let me say he'll be a yard short. Shane Hornish in on the tackle, number 58. Nainas will be forced to punt. It's Adams again. I'm not sure why they didn't have a block at the second level on Hornish, but. He steps into the hole. Brian Adams. Kicks it away. Greg Corky will take this up to about his own 36 yard line. It's going to spot it. So Brian Adams after uh, writing and performing a string of hits in the 80s, now in the SFL. How about that? And the Vaqueros come out on their own 36. First and 10 with seven and seven to go until the half. It's with the base of German again, and German wiggles his way forward. Carson, Della Arden, and Kit Moore combined for the stop as German's almost averaging a first down every time he touches the ball. The scoring update from SFL headquarters. The Sioux Falls Sparrows are down to the Dallas Roughnecks. 17 to 9 with 104 left. As the Vaqueros will throw again. Langdon deep down the field. The pass is going to be intercepted. That's Joaquin Rose who returns it up to the Vaquero 44. Best starting field position for the Hyenas yet. That's what I'm talking about. So here's a look at it one more time. They're looking for Coltrane down the field. Instead, he finds Rose for a second interception. And it circles in front of the receiver. Makes it look easy. First and 10 from the 44. Cantrell empties the gun. Back to throw, sets. Has time over the middle of the field, it's dropped. Oh, no. Dropped by a non-contract player, it looked like. Couldn't get his number quite there, but he was wide open. He's gathers number 88. Randy Gather, tight end. Second and 10 from the 44. Pittman gets the carry and then he gets his clock cleaned for a loss of two by James Bond. Really blown up, sir. Well, no, in fact, he finished his training on his own even though his sergeant was out of commission. Third and 12 from the Vaquento 47 yard line for Cantrell. He's under center, has three receivers to the bottom. Back to throw, going deep. Oh, and almost another interception 
for John De La Rosa. And Charles just got to air that out a little bit. Drop it in over the head of uh, the defender. Instead, he threw it on a rope. Yeah. I don't know if you watched uh, Josh Rosen last night for UCLA. Seems like uh, he doesn't know how to throw anything but a fastball. Same problem right there. Fourth and 12, Mr. Adams in on the punt again. His legs got to be getting tired. But he gets away a pretty good one. Corky will try another return and we'll get wrestled down at the 12. They keep the Corky bottled up. Nice coverage there by the Hyenas. First and 10 from the 12. Let's see how care how uh, careful Joey Langdon is with this ball. He threw an interception last time. As they come out with split backs. Linebackers show blitz. He got a man jump off sides. It's Jason Jeremy gets the first down and more to the 30. To the 40, oh, to the 50, 30, 20, show 10, and go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Touchdown. <laughs> Oh, Jason no. German and the Vaqueros oh, score again. Score and score again. The penalty is declined, and we have a San Antonio touchdown. Well, they were looking for lightning to strike twice there with German, and it happens. And he just rumbles down and waltzes in like the old Statue of Liberty in New York Harbor. Check me out. Number one is back to the point after. Number ten will hold the kick. Johnny Deadeye again. To kick the extra point. It's through. So it's 534 to go in the first half. Keep in mind, this is the first half, folks. We're not, even, we're not even done. We're not even first done half. yet. Oh my gosh. And it's already 35 to nothing. I tell you, the Legion got to be loving this because. Yeah. Because if this holds up. Or if the margin gets bigger and they win, they could potentially become third seed. The Legion. If they beat the Oklahoma City Renegades on Tuesday night. That's Corey Sims. We'll return this to 27. Well, at this time of the year, this time of the season, nothing is uh, ever a foregone conclusion. I mean, look at this. Although the Legion do have that ace uh, new tight end they picked up mid-season. It's Pittman. We'll take it forward for a pickup of three yards. So he's got 10 yards. Trying to admirably fill in for injured William Choice. Jason German up over 100 yards, averaging almost 17 yards a carry. Second and seven. Cantrell from the empty shotgun. And he throws to the corner and it's knocked away by that's De La Rosa. That, that, same, that same throw down the left sideline. Come on, buddy. Third and seven. Keep trying to stretch the field vertically. So far, it's not working. That was the right idea. Just got to get a better throw on the ball. Doctor held the one catch. Be interesting to see the numbers at halftime for both teams. Earned seven from 29. Play action fake to Pittman. Cantrell goes deep. Pass is tipped in the air. It's going to be intercepted. It's John De La Rosa off the tip drill. That's got to be the third interception for this Vaquero secondary. Well, and uh, the Vaqueros on D. Uh, they're not showing the line, but... Um they were, they were bringing it. They ran a stunt and a twist 
on both sides of the D line, and they nearly got to Cantrell. Who obliges with the fastball, resulting in a tip drill. Again, first and 10 from 47. German handoff. And they do give it to German. Although this time the blitz contains him for a loss of one, actually. As he has two rushing touchdowns. You know, they got him going laterally. And uh, that sort of negates his north south uh, freight train that he seems to have going today. As we welcome in Legion owner Andy Hamilton to the chat. It's the second 11 to give the German again. He picks up the yard he lost. Hit more on the tackle. Yeah, welcome, Andy. Understand you enjoyed your uh, road trip to Michigan over the weekend with your dastardly Bobcats. Curses. As it's third and ten, Joey Langdon under pressure throws to Marcus Jones Jr. to pull back, and the big guy drops it. That was good coverage there. It's they uh, deliver the hit shortly after the ball arrives. He just doesn't have an opportunity, opportunity to secure it. Fourth and ten, and Mr. Tillman is on the field to punt it away. Goes to Sims, he is down at his own 18. So the Hyenas get the ball on their own 18 with 3.38 to go. Other than a big play here and a big play there. They haven't had a lot to show for it. It's not due to lack of effort or anything. It's Cantrell takes a six-step drop, swings this out to Wiggins. It's Cantrell. It's approaching, going over 50 yards with his next throw. That's Brad Wiggins, 82. Second and four, following the pickup of six on first down. Pittman is the deep back in the eye formation. And they give to Pittman. They have some good blocks with Jordan, as well as Olsen. Number 33 come up to make that hit. Set up a third down three. Spicero's ranch field takes up a chance of defense here on third and three. Mario Mito's to the bottom. He's been targeted a couple times. I don't think he has a catch yet. Throws deep, and it's going to be picked uh. off again. That's the fourth INT. The <laughs> second one for John De La Rosa. Senor De La Rosa. As they were looking for Damon Simeon down the field. And the Vaqueros will get the ball up their own 48. Uh, at the Houston 48, rather. <laughs> That's midfield. And here's the get to German up the middle, and he gashes him for seven yards. Yeah, why not? You know, your local uh, Little Caesars franchisee right. has a promotion on the your Vaquero stick ticket stub. If San Antonio breaks 50 points, you get a free pepperoni pizza. There's the hit to German. Spins forward, will pick up two yards. As Jason German is up to 195, with his longest being that 87 yard touchdown run. Yeah, third and one, 
38. This be reached a two minute warning here. San Antonio, Texas. Third and one. 38. Two minutes to go, they get to German up the middle and he gets the first down as Jax makes the hit. And German is rapidly approaching. Two hundred yards with that last carry. German is in the backfield along with Jones. Langdon deep drop. We'll go deep down the middle of the field. Pass will be picked up by Joaquin Rose again for the third time today. Langdon trying to force the ball down the field. But Joaquin Rose. Like he's a center fielder in baseball. Fields that fly balls. The pass is intended for Daly Holder. Now Aina's get one more shot. Get another shot, rather, to do something with this. Remember, Houston did elect to kick to start the game. And Pittman will take it forward for a pickup of one. Jordan in on the tackle. Look at that, 49 yards, 4.4 quarterback rating, and four picks for Cody Cantrell. So far in his first half, mind bot. He's back for another pass. It's tipped and nearly picked off again. With Jordan at his mitts on it. Stops the clock with 50 seconds to go. It's third and nine. Thrown in the neighborhood of DR Sim. Well, there is a posse of vaqueros there. Third and nine, they take up a chain of defense. Back to throw goes Cantrell to the sideline, and out of bounds is Jamari Mito. They say probably wouldn't have been enough for the first down anyway. Got to run that route farther. Let's begin an update from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. The Sparrows are in front of the Dallas Roughnecks by a score of 19 to 17 with 310 left in the third. Brian Adams on for what seems to be the 100th time. Kicks it away to Greg Corky and Mr. Corky gets knocked down at the 43. So Joey Langdon, after throwing a couple touchdown passes on his first few throws in this game, has been bitten by the turnover bug. Thirty-nine seconds left. This half. Let's see what the Vikings do. They'll throw on first down, going deep. Aaron Arrington. Not letting Holder get behind him again. Sees up to four catches on seven targets plus a drop. Certainly has that feeling from that uh, Jacksonville Baltimore game. It happened in London earlier this morning. Back, back. Joey Langdon changes to play at the line. Three-step drop swings this out to Marcus Jones Jr. Spins inside, but doesn't quite go to the full watch cycle. We'll pick up three yards. They'll hurry up with approaching quickly now. Under 20 seconds to go. Everybody's set. Here's the get to Jason German. Spins, doesn't quite get the first down. And it looks like the Vaqueros 
We'll let the rest of the clock bleed down all the way to halftime. As we have mercifully reached it, the Vaqueros are at front 35 to nothing. As I mentioned earlier, it's my second time in the Alamo City. It's the Vaqueros, 383 total yards. The Hyenas, only 62 total yards and four turnovers. As I mentioned before, this is my second uh, trip to the city of San Antonio. Uh, I'd like to thank all the Vaqueros uh, staff for their hospitality again, second time this season. Um, that was my first game, it was a Vaquero game when they played the Dallas Roughnecks at home. Simulation FL says that uh, Vancouver would have to beat the Oklahoma City Renegades by 34 points to clinch the number three seed in, in the West. It's a big playing game for the final Western Conference playoff spot. It's, Cantrell has just really sort of struggled all game. He's thrown those Four interceptions. Joey Langdon's thrown three. But he's got a couple of touchdown passes to go with it. Rose so far has all three interceptions. Jason German, 207 yards on the ground. Gooding. That long touchdown run. John De La Rosa, a former Aina, has had a couple of picks, including that tip drill there. And that one right there. A couple times Langdon's tried to get greedy down the field. But Rose has high pointed that ball. And he did that time for the pick. As we've come out of the locker room. Uh, Enos will get the ball first. Johnny Dada here to kick. As Sims returns this one to 30, but we have a flag down. Let's see who it is. Holding number 82. Oh, it's offensive holding. We'll push the ball back to the 20. Clint Wiggins, not Brad Wiggins. Most Clint must be younger brother of Brad when the original hyenas. Cantrell. Well, he has to try, keep trying. So far, the efforts have been frustrating. Of course, losing William Choice hasn't helped matters much. And he swings it out to Pittman, 
And John De La Rosa just lights him up like a Christmas tree. That's his third tackle. First behind the line for a loss. Second and 11. Just nothing open down the field. It's Jamari Mito in the slot. I don't think he has a catch so far. Cantrell V drop. It's sacked again. That's Yunatoa. And on the sack, just beats the tackle going around. And boy, I tell you, Cantrell is going to be bruised, battered in that ice tub come he's, Monday morning. Well, he's going to soak in the ice tonight. And then he's going to go hot tub the rest of the way. We get third and 18. Cody Cantrell has to try something down the field and does. Oh, but it's picked off by the Vaqueros. This time it's number 33. Jared Olson, who returns it to the 22. And, uh, Jared's got himself a little swag dance there. Did you see that? <laughs> oh, nice. Bass intended for Sim. Oh. Uh, just a, a summary of what, what's gone on in this game. Of course, when you lose your top running back like choice, yep. you're really limited as, what, as far as what you can do. You're limited on your... Uh, choices, is that where we're going? Ah, uh, uh, and oh, nice hit! Here is the hit by Blake Chance coming up from his safety position. Second and nine. So we get a second and ten from their own twenty-two. Here's the kid to German up the middle. Spins through the hole, jukes, and picks up the first down. Wow. So, Joey Langdon on the chat, channeling his uh, inner blues brothers. Here's an old Rowdy H tune. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep them doggies rolling, right? You know, this is, this is the football equivalent of that... Uh, 15 to 2 baseball game where you end up having position players pitch just because you don't want anybody in the bullpen throwing. At Langdon lofts this one over the middle for Coltrane, who drops it after being hit by the big guy, Kit Moore, who's been fairly active today. Second and ten. Corky in the slot. Three-step drop. Has to swing this out to Jones Jr. who does a spin move. Tries to get a juke and will pick up six yards. Langdon's now up to 181. As it's third and four from the six. They get to German and he's tackled at the pickup of one by Moore. Will we see a field goal attempt? By the way, Demont Simeon, spot on. The game would be uh, much different with Choice in the game. It really blows up your uh, your game plan when your stud goes down on play number one. The field goal by Johnny Deadeye from 24 is through. So the Vaqueros get a field goal to extend their lead 38 up. Dead ice. Get set to tee this up again. Oh, 
And the ball is kicked deep. No, that wasn't. Oh, well, that was him. I, my ass were just playing tricks on me there. There's a look at Shane Hornish, the linebacker. Back to throw, Cantrell down the field, tip no, drill. No, no, no. Oh, and it's incomplete. Looking for Jamari Mito. Got to have the hyenas get off the snide here. Anything would be preferable. I've only seen one shutout. I mean, it's not. It, this is not a true representation of the hyenas team. Second and ten. Cantrell gives to Pittman. Will pick up two yards. Third and eight. Is it just me, Colin, or did it look like that hole was? Uh, there was a hole there. Just couldn't get there in time. Third and eight. Cantrell changes the play. Three receivers on pattern. Six step drop over the middle. Oh, no, nearly be enough for a first. Went short to Mito. Caught the pass, but won't be enough for the first. It's almost like we. Never mind. As Adams is going to kick this one. Miss. He's getting more of a leg workout than those uh, Rockettes up in New York City. And Carson will take this to his 29. We get a first and 10 from the 29. Vaqueros, Langdon's back to throw. Swings is out to Coltrane. That's his first catch for positive yardage. Remember, his first catch went for no gain because he went That's around correct. in circles back to the line of scrimmage. That's right. Let's, Let's go. pick up a seven. A little known fact, Coltrane is a long lost cousin of Dick Night Train Lane. Famous here around these parts. They pick up a bait, it'll be second and two. Get the German up the middle. He's got the first down to play more. Tackled by Tylee Jones. It's number 22, has 222 yards on almost his jersey number equivalent of carries. Hyenas stack the line. Show blitz from two linebackers. Did the German that way, and he's tackled for a loss of one. So the six man line that time. It's a loss of one. Second and 11 from the Vaquero 42. Corners playing off a little bit. Langdon sees something that he wants changed. Corky at only 27 yards to half. This time they dump it to German. And they'll move forward to the 44, setting up third and down and eight. Not sure why he... Uh Changed into that play, and he watched the uh, four in the pattern, and he had at least two that were seemed to be open. You get third and eight. Mr. Train flexes up as third wide receiver done off and a lot this game. Get the German on third down. He'll nearly get it. 
Mr. Lawyer will be on the field for a punt as Carson Dullard makes that tackle. It's a good stop by the Hyenas. They're going to get the ball. It'll be, they'll get it deep, but. And the punt is away from Mr. Lawyer. And Mr. Sims will get tackled at the 19th. Three fifty to go. In the third. In the third, can I can Houston get off the snide? It certainly would be nice to see. Well, it is America. Everybody roots for the underdog, so come on. As Pittman takes the swing pass from Cantrell and moves forward for a pickup of three. Nice moves to get to the line of scrimmage and a little bit beyond. After he was surrounded by a posse of vaqueros, which for those of you who don't take Spanish, is uh, Spanish for cowboy. Wearing the Kansas State Wildcat uniform, Wildcat, K-State colors. Back to throw, going deep nice, to nice. Sim. They're or that's Mito, rather. Number yes. 84, the biggest play of the day. That's solid. And Jamari just running a post in front of the safety Olsen, who had a pick earlier. Trips to the top of your picture. Give to Pittman on the counter. Has guys in front, but can only make it to the line of scrimmage. Pursued there by Mr. Bond. James Bond. Second and ten. Sim in the slot. Corner playing off for San Antonio, but it's a run to midfield for Pittman. He's going to bring up third and long. <clears throat> this is what the Vicaros banking on here. Crowd takes up a Janet defense. They've been good on third down. This one more manageable than some of the other ones. Cantrell. Back, throwing them. Oh, Sim, but oh, he, he's a couple of yards well, short. He runs runs a little too close to the sideline. He knows it. He's trying not to fall out of bounds. But he can't stop his momentum. Here we go. Fourth and four. Oh. <laughs> Take a shot, boys. Adams gets the punt away. He's been good. And this will die at about the Vaquero 2. Nice. Nice punt. So the Vaqueros have their worst starting field position of the game so far. Can this defense get their team on the board with perhaps a safety? Showing six men across the front. Split back. Get to the fullback Jones Jr. He barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. He's solid there. It's Jackson on the tackle. Appreciate Liam being... Uh a good steward of the SFL and giving up his uh, sleep time to check out this game. Second and 10 from the two, get the German. He right. moved forward to the three. Gain of two yards on the play. Number 65 with the 
you know, this could have the possibility that Hyena is getting really good field position. Okay, one more play here, boys. Train flexed out in the formation. Somebody open right here. Give to German, breaks the tackle, get the first down. Crying out loud. So they tried to hold them in, and Jason German says, Get off me, man. He follows his fullback, Jones Jr., beautifully blocked. Knocked a tackle of Rose. Darian Bowles finally brought him down. Otherwise, that might have been trouble. So we approaching the end of this third quarter. Rel relatively uh, fast-moving corner. They get one play off. It's a carry to German. He gets tackled at the line of scrimmage. Made by Hutchinson. We've reached the end of three quarters. Scores. San Antonio, 38. Houston, 0. Joey Langdon, 192 yards. On the day. Is under center. Seven step drop deep down the middle of the field. Daly Holder catches yeah, this one. Get him. And this big guy <laughs> oh, bring will him down. Break He's got it the angle. Yeah. <laughs> to the 18. Sorry, Colin, I talked Tyler over you. Jones saves the touchdown for Houston. But Holder with his first big play in a while. Just a post pattern beats Arrington. Great hustle play by Jones, who comes from all the way across the field and runs down Holder, who's top five in the league this season receiving, and he's signed week two with the Vaqueros. This time, San Antonio empties the backfield. German split out as a wide receiver. Ditto the fullback. Three-step drop, Langdon going deep for Holder. Oh, he dropped it. Could have been a touchdown, although it looks like Arrington might have gotten his hands on that one. Good defense by Aaron Arrington. Second and 10 from the 18. Split backs. Let's show. Jason German up the middle. Oh. Blown up well, in the middle of the spin move. He's up to 246 with that last carry. Third and two. From the hyena 10. They can get a first down without scoring. One receiver to either side, blitz shown. Here's to get the fullback, Jones Jr. And the big fullback gets the first down, setting him up at a first and goal from the five. So they use their fullback effectively. More, more so as a blocker and receiver, but that time he gets the ball and he knows what to do with it. Good for him. Yes, indeed. First and goal from the yeah, first and goal from the five. Hyenas in sort of a goal line defense. Here's to get to German, and he will walk into the end zone. I mean, there's a flag on the play. Hang on, let's check the flag before we get a confirmation of anything. We have a light hit on the defense. Blank chance. Moves the PAT try to the one. So the touchdown stands for Jason German. Wow. It's time from a bit shorter distance than what the other ones have been. Yeah. 
And the extra point by Deadeye is true. So it's 9-10 to go in this game. San Antonio Vaqueros are in front now by a score of 45 to 0. Wow. Well, welcome in uh, Lord Destro, SFL president. Mm. He's wondering what he what what he stumbled into. As Sim will take the ball down to the 27. If Houston will they'll start with 9:07 to go. As Pittman is the back, he gets it on the swing pass. Oh, Had a lineman in front. Can't buy a break. But he didn't pick up anybody. Jared Olson in on the tackle. The commissioner saying that score holds. Uh, Vancouver needs a 24 point win for the number three seed. It's with 45 seconds left. Dallas is behind. Sioux Falls, 25-24. Counterplay to Pittman. This time he has a bit of a hole. We'll move forward for a pickup of three. Shane Hornish has been extremely busy in that linebacking core. Calling his name a lot. And he said some really key stops or plays. Just blown things up. Third and seven, Cantrell. Oh, almost picked off again by James Bob. So another pun on for Mr. Adams. With 8.06 to go. And kick by Adams is fielded by Corky, just past his own 30, and it'll be knocked down at his own 34. Judo style tackle there. Vaccaro's offense comes out on the field. Jason German, 250 yards on 28 carries. Still playing their starters. I think they'll be calling off the dock soon. Get the German. He picks up one through a tiny hole. Number 99, Elvis Cooper in on the tackle. Elvis. Centered the building. Apparently he's been seen at a Burger King. I'm told has Elvis. Hey, I did undergrad in Kalamazoo. Elvis was there all the time. Give it to Jones Jr. Plows forward for about a two-yard pickup on his second carry. Darian Bowles and on the tackle. Third and seven. Joey Langdon having one of his better games of the season so far today, in spite of his interception totals. Gives to fullback. Stopped by Hutchinson. And Mr. Royal Tillman will be on the field to punt. Actually, Kalamazoo tore that Burger King down. It's now a uh, Tim Hortons. I guess we want to make every all of our Canadian visitors feel at home with a donut. And a punt by Tillman. It's fielded by Sims. Makes a man miss and goes forward to the 24. 6.27 to go. And this time, there have been times and little moments or two that 
Houston offense has moved the ball down the field, but uh, ever, ever since Troyes went down, it's been hard for them. Well, without choice, yeah. They can string together a few plays, but they haven't been able to sustain a drive into scoring position, so I really feel bad for the Hyenas. That's Cantrell over the middles. DR Sim had it, and he dropped it. It's like they're uh, trying to compete with one hand tied behind their back, and uh, you can only make so many adjustments on the fly in-game. Just a bad break. They will see the playoffs, and they will get choice back. They go with three wide receivers. Cantrell sets, fires in a crowd, and it's going to be picked off by, I believe that's Jordan. Linebacker playing deep zone. Cantrell. It's got to be there. Steps in. Oh, apparently, Sioux Falls wins by the skin of their teeth. As Manuel, Manuel is unable to come up with a game-winning kick. And being told from sources down at Sioux Falls that he's sick to his stomach. And apparently, to some, he's seeking witness protection as we speak. As <laughs> here's to get to Jason Sherman. He moves forward for six yards. And the clock continues to move. German's at eight and a half yards per carry. Earlier in the game, he was over 11 yards a carry, so uh, he's going to have to bust one. Or he emptied the backfield. He's seen this look a few times today. This time, Jones is with Corky. Bottom. He goes that direction. This time, the cold train it gets him down to the 10 yard line. Beautiful play. And catch by Coltrane. So we get another look at it here. Langdon staring the big cat kit more right in the face. Delivers a beautiful ball. Slightly behind, but very catchable. Perhaps if it was a little bit out in front of him, he wouldn't have scored. But Isn't that funny how you watch uh, the Vaqueros and... You're like, well, every pass play could have scored. And Langdon steps up. End zone. <laughs> Joaquin Rose with his fourth interception of the game as he was gone for Corky. He tries to uncork the bottle there and uh, just throws a ball probably shouldn't have been thrown. No, he's actually looking for Holder. <laughs> was he? <laughs> it the blue sleeves. That's how I can tell the difference between the two. So Houston takes over, following a pick from Markeem Rose, who's been defensive MVP so far. With 5.13 to go in this game. Swing out to Pittman. Add a block, but needed a few more, but picks up five regardless. John De La Rosa, that's his fourth tackle. You know, back on that pick and uh, that throw in the end zone, I suppose when you got a seven-score lead, you can throw it all over the yard and you don't really care. It's Pittman is the back. Sim is the receiver. And they will swing it out to Pittman. Oh, he lost the ball, but the lineman fell on it. And they're going to run hurry up. You know, I bring up a good point, Colin. <clears throat> if they don't they throw that many picks in the playoffs. You know, I mean, it's going to be tough to win. This is an odd game. It's an outlier, black swan, whatever you want to call it. But, um, you know, you, you, you can't let your um, sharpness decline or erode uh, right before you head into the playoffs. Am I right? Indeed. It's fourth and five. They're going for it. So on their own 25, Cantrell. Over the middle, 
Looking for Sim, nobody there. Turnover and down. He was well covered and well, folks, that looks just about says a lot of things. Point if you're a hyena. First and ten for the Vaqueros. As the backups are now in. In a quarterback for San Antonio is number ten, John McDaniel. Dave Morgan gets the carry, and Morgan is in the end zone. He does his German impression. <laughs> And the crowd responds, Sehr gut, Herr Mayor. Gehen wir uns, ja? Jeez. So even the backups get in on one. It's, he's in for German, but the starting pullback was in there, and he just cleared a point out, and boy. This is this has been a weird game with so many passes, to say the least. As the extra point is good. Like I said, if you look at, um, so I know uh, finance and financial markets and um, you know the black swan or whatever you want to call it, um, it happens and. This is one of those games. And, uh, you know, if you're the hyenas, you just got to put it in the bucket, walk away. Right. Because they got to, they're a good team and they got to focus on the playoffs. And like I said, baseball equivalent is that blowout where you've got your uh, outfielders and your <coughs> utility infielders pitching because. It just happens every now and then. And I know the hyena ownership and coaching staff are sick about this, but uh, encouraging them to uh, shake it off and move forward. And Trell, three-step drop, goes for Sim. He catches the ball, but he fumbles it, and it's recovered by the Vaqueros. Jared Olsen. Jesus. Oh, it's just been one of those days. DR Sim had open real estate. He was running free. He was born free. He broke a tackle and as free as the wind blows. Man. Oh. So, the walking drag. Greg Morris, the owner, has, is saying, where has this been for nine games? And, you know, as McDaniel comes back out with the backups in. Jones Jr. is still in there. Get the Morgan, he lost the guard. Well, you know, this may also be a rarity in that uh, I'll wager that no timeouts will be burned in the second half. When was the last time you saw a game where that happened? I can't remember. Hashtag never. As Joaquin Rose has four picks of Joey Langdon, but his backup is in. Houston selling out to stop the run, it looks like. Lyon is clocked down as far as we can take it. Morgan gets to midfield. Brings up third and long. There's, there's about, they'll have to get a play out before the two minute warning. Oh yeah. Based on the difference between the game clock and the play clock. So if you're the Vaqueros, do you uh, 
let him throw here? Or are you content to run and uh, we'll see. Cam says he bets you a million uh, dollars that uh, timeouts will be called <laughs> post two minute warning. Uh oh, that has me worried. Cam knows uh, knows the SFL much better than I ever will. <laughs> Never give up. Cam, stop it. As we reach the two minute warning. Here in the Alamo City, who this SFL franchise is their first pro team of any sort, of any major league since the San Antonio Gunslingers of the USFL. You mean in football? In football. There you go. Football, rather. Because they have the spares. I forgot about that. As they get a touch back to the 20. Tillman's punt and they'll take over with the full complement of timeouts and 152 left. First and 10 from the 20, Cam Troll. Swings this out to Pittman. Pick up a two and they'll go Hariga. Cam Troll, three step drop. Over the middle, Sim. Had the ball jarred from him at the last minute by Allen. Third and eight. <laughs> Pocket gets crowded by his own lineman. His second drop today. <laughs> See, we're worried about uh, thumbs down trolls. I'll tell you what, uh, tell the people at uh, my place of business. There's always a solid 5% of any population that is just full of salt. No worries. They empty the gun, and Drow. Oh! Well, boy, two sacks, but can't avoid that one. Oh, and the no. hyenas oh, burn a timeout. timeout. Of uh, course. <laughs> somebody <laughs> lost the bet as Darwin Biggins. Hey. He actually completely missed Cantrell the first time. Came back around and tackled him. That's just about the funniest play I've seen all game. A total whiff. <laughs> so he's he's one for two on sack attempts on the same play. Fourth and 14. Bunch formation. Cantrell going deep. Doink. Pass, that hit his helmet. Fast drop. Come on. Well, I'll let the record show. I did not accept the million-dollar bet. As Cam says, I accept all forms of payment. <laughs> <laughs> As the Vaqueros take over from their own 16 with 123 to go. Aina still have two timeouts. Well, perhaps maybe a first down or so. But here is Morgan with Jones Jr. in the backfield. Moves to get to Morgan. Slashes forward for two as they call a timeout. Really? <laughs> well, further to my earlier comment. You gotta always play hard, especially with the playoffs. Coming right out of that opening stuff. And they lost a couple of yards on second down and they burned their final timeout. So they could run one more play. Let's go! On third down. No matter. <laughs> I'm getting trolled by the league office. Three, don't come back 
as the Englishman says the U.S. The U.S. spelling of Jack bugs bugs the Hades out of him. <laughs> well, Liam, you can now be the official chancellor of the Exchequer for the SFL. How about that? As Morgan gets the carry, lost the yard. Probably see Johnny Denai kick another three points here. It's the difference between the game clock and the play clock would probably dictate they have to run one play. Joey Langdon uh, sympathizes with Liam as the field goal is up and good from Johnny Dadai at 34. Joey Langdon says he's Canadian so he can relate to the spelling of check in such a way. <laughs> As now, he says, I'm staying away from the SFL treasury. <laughs> well, <clears throat> Canada is British North America. Well, except for that whole Quebec thing. But With this score, as the SFL commissioner says, that means the Alaska City... Alaska, <laughs> Mexico City <laughs> game. That. Um, the winner of that game. The winner of that be. game gets the number one seed in the West. As Joey Langdon says he's the greatest quarterback in the University of Western Ontario history. As Dion Sim catches this pass deep down the field to the 43. Oh, they're hustling to get one more play. Come on. Throw it in the end zone, boys. And they're going to stop the clock because they already burned all their timeouts. Commissioner says that uh, Vancouver needs now, now needs a 14-point win over OKC tomorrow night to get the three seed, sending Houston to four seed. The 14-point win, Houston will be the number three seed with a Mexico City win and number two with a Mexico City losses. Second and ten, we got a Hail Mary attempt for it coming. Cody Cantrell oh. is sacked. Fittingly. And they can't right. get the spike off, and that's the gotten final score. In a shocking, shocking fashion, the San Antonio Vaquero shut out the Houston Hyenas 55 in a zero. In a very hot Vaquero stadium, and don't forget, Ticket holders, get your free Little Caesars pizza as the Vaqueros break 50. Uh, is that the first time this season? I gotta go back and look at it. I'll soon be um, staying corrected by the chat. As seven turnovers for the Hyenas. Plenty of big plays from the offense. Joey Langdon finishes with 287. Well, this concludes our first regular season of SFL action uh, for um, Rick Northrup and myself, Colin Northrup. Thank you very much. I appreciate the uh, opportunity to uh, be a part of the SFL. As the highlights get rolling here, and just a reminder, we have... Um, Two more important games as Atlanta heads to Cleveland and Chicago is <laughs> on their way to St. Louis uh, to <laughs> so get their playoff positioning. Hey, Joey. <laughs> Damn straight everybody gets a Detroit-style pizza. <laughs> as the, uh, We're going to get back on the uh, Learjet back to uh, Ann Arbor tonight after this game, but... Uh, Really crazy, really weird. Vaquero's in a squeaker, huh? That is the third shutout in league history, says Cam, and it's the largest of those three shutouts. Is 
You're darn right it was a squeaker. <laughs> I told you I forgot. I should have taken my aspirin medication. Man. So, from all of us here, Simulation Football League. It's a lot of highlights. <clears throat> well, then you got an eight score margin. There's a lot of plays. In here. A lot of plays, absolutely. As the player of the game is Jason German. Finishes with 255 yards on the ground, three touchdowns on 30 carries, as well as six receiving yards. So that's well over, two, well north of 260 for him. For all of us here, I'm Colin Northup saying good night and good luck. <laughs>